welcome to Consultants Corner. I'm Rebecca Britzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. Hiring people that match the culture of your business. Doesn't that just mean hiring people who are exactly like you? And doesn't that just lead to a terrible lack of diversity in your business? People worry about this, this idea of hiring for culture and then the concern of I just hiring a bunch of people like me? And is that healthy for my business? No, it is not healthy for your business. And no, you should certainly not hire a whole bunch of yous. But that's not what we're talking about when we talk about hiring for your company culture. What we're talking about is hiring for your company culture. Your personality is not your company culture. And your company culture is not simply a reflection of what you think your personality is. If that is how you have built your company culture, then I urge you to reevaluate. Take a more neutral view, get an external advisor perhaps, and redefine your company culture based on what your company culture is, not what your personality is. Will you recognize your personality in your company culture? Yes, to some extent you will, in certain particular ways you will, but your company culture should not just be a mirror reflection of your personality or, as I've said, what you think your personality is, which is more often what actually happens there. You're not hiring people who are like you. You are hiring people whose values are like your values. The point is not to look for people who have your same personality or sense of humor or preferences or favorite foods. The point is to look for people who will give importance to the same values that you give importance to. Not the same things that you give importance to, the same values. Because your company culture itself probably respects those values or allows you to live those values because it's your business and you wouldn't build a company culture that in some way denied or deflected your values. The company culture is about the company. It's about the business, about how the business operates, about how it's going to be known in the world, about how it's going to make its mark in the world. And that is not about you. That is about your business. And you have to know what that is. You have to have that defined in order to be able to go out into the world and hire people who will thrive within that culture, who also want their work to be known for the same things as your business will be known. Again, not themselves to you, their work to your business. Within that, you still want to be looking for people who are different. Otherwise, you're just going to keep doing the same few things that you do, as well as the same mistakes that you yourself make, because you're just hiring a bunch of people who are exactly like you. Look for different skills. Look for different habits. Look for different experience. Look for different knowledge. One of my favorites, look for different accents. Look for a different approach. Even look for different priorities so long as none of those differences compromise the company culture and the company values. But bring in people who are going to fill gaps that you leave behind. You cannot be all things, know all things, and do all things. Bring in people that will give everybody the opportunity to learn something every day. Bring in people that can have a lively discussion. Bring in people that will look at a problem from different angles. Hiring people who will work well in your culture and who will uphold and live your company values is important, but never to the detriment of diversity, never to the sacrifice of innovation. That isn't just dangerous, it's harmful to your business. Once this video ends, I want you to go look at your company culture statement or your value statement or your mission statement or whatever you have that defines what your business is and how it operates and ask yourself, is this a reflection of my company or is it a reflection of my personality? Make sure you're using that document in the right way. That's how you're working on your business this week. I'll see you back here next week for your next video. Bye now.